Halloween doesn't just have to be about candy and sweet treats. Your child can enjoy something yummy and healthy. And joining us now with ideas is Kelsey Lickard, event marketing specialist at Kama Aina Kids. Good morning. Welcome back, Kelsey. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Now, what I love is that you brought these treats that you thought of by yourself. But it's not just yummy and healthy for kids, but... Adults would love these as well if you're <laughs> having a party, right? Yes, they're okay. very festive little snacks and treats. So um, first we have little witch broomsticks mm -hmm. just made out of pretzel sticks and mozzarella cheese, uh, string cheese. So you just stick the pretzel in the very top, and then I just started kind of pulling the bottom apart mm -hmm. to make it like a little witch's broom. And if anybody knows fun. about string cheese, it's already so easy to pull apart. Yes. So this is super yes. fast to oh, make. This took me maybe 10, 15 seconds to put together, so mm -hmm. it was very, very easy, very quick. Okay. Um, the next little treat we have is awesome. They're little peanut butter and jelly, or you could even do like almond butter, cashew butter, which is even a more healthy option. Um, little Sammies that look like spiders and again I just I have this big bag of pretzels and I just use them for the legs for the spiders. And you could use any kind of bread that you want, oh, right? Oh, yeah. See, like... I use cinnamon swirl bread, mm -hmm. um, but you could use, you know, wheat bread, white bread, any kind of bread that you want, for and sure. This next one, precious. Yes, so this is my favorite, too. This is probably the healthiest option, and they're super cute little monster faces, or even some people have called them gorilla faces, which I think is awesome. It's just a little green apple wedge, and you can use any apple you want, of course. I used a dark chocolate chip for the eyeball, or eyeball balls and then we have the sunflower seeds for teeth and a little strawberry slice for a tongue and it's peanut butter or cashew butter on the inside too. So healthy but again like the, the, the chocolate chip just kind of makes yes. it you know a little bit sweet and right. kind of like you're enjoying something that you shouldn't be but you are. It's exactly. all healthy. Appealing for the kids because they look fun and mm -hmm. they see the chocolate chip so it's like kind of takes away the healthy <laughs> right. part of it but yes. And what tips do you have for parents when it comes to trick-or-treating and Halloween? Right, so there's a few things that you should definitely remember when trick-or-treating. Um, when it comes to costumes, you want your kid's costume to fit properly so they can't trip or fall. You want to make sure if they're wearing a mask that they can see out of it enough and um, that they have enough room to breathe or to speak if they need to, of course. Um, I recommend to check all kind of face paint, read the back, make sure that they you don't have a time limit of how long you can wear it on your skin mm -hmm. or that it's not toxic and it's safe for kids. Um, we always recommend that you trick or treat in large groups. It's not only safe, but it's really fun. Um, maybe have even a meeting place in case somebody gets separated. Have that, um, you know, distinguished beforehand so that you kind of have a plan just in case. Okay, and then also wear bright costumes. And also, yes. um, what I see a lot of kids doing, a lot of families, is wearing a glow stick. So they yeah. can be seen because it's very dark in some areas. Exactly. And there are a lot of kids and families running across the street. Right. So They have, like, cute little flickering light pins that mm -hmm. you can put on. Or I always used to trick-or-treat with flashlights. So, you know, just definitely so that you can see your kids and make sure you have an eye on them at all times. Very perfect. And if anyone wants any more information or maybe some of these recipes, where can they go? So these recipes and more will be on our Pinterest page. So Common Kids has a Pinterest page. We also have a Facebook page that you can check out as well. All right. Thank you so much, Kelsey of Licker course. with Common Kids for these ideas. And you thought of all of this yourself. I did. Thank yes. you so thank much. You. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>